you know, when someone just says, well, that's the way it is. Well, <laughs> not for me. Uh, I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go one up and check. We all thought he was crazy. Don't be no flexing on me, my attorney will call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my success has only made him envious, they got upset. And, uh, you know, obviously he's an physically impressive guy. I want the money, the power, respect, and I heard you know so and so, you got a threat, cause I really know so and so, they like my family, so they go pretend that they cool till they bust at your motherfucking chest. I'm getting gutter, my flow been like butter, my check in the bank. up a fighter he's always fought he's always worked hard and he gets it done that's the big thing if he sets his mind to something he gets it done Heath doesn't quit there's no quit in Heath you can do anything you put your mind to it's one of his big things you know be who you are and that this is this is Heath his his uh, personality and you know it really fits in with the elephant brand and the culture. You know we grow up on the water. We grow up fishing. Uh, we, you know, our parents taught us how to be good stewards of the ocean. You know, not necessarily take every fish you catch. Our success as a company, our survival as a company, depends on clean water, abundant fisheries and access to those fisheries. But the smart answer for everybody, whether they're boat buyers or fishermen or not, is to protect our water, make it clean, keep it abundant, you know, it's quantity and quality. And I think he knows that if he does things like the Skiff Challenge, it brings awareness. And so who knows what he's gonna come up with next. Those are the three things I demand in my life. Time, energy, and effort. You can slack, but why are you there if you're slacking? Why even go? You know, if you're only gonna do it half-ass, why even go there? If I'm only gonna show up at work and work half-ass, why even have the job? If I'm only gonna be a half-ass husband, why even be a husband? You know, I don't like being comfortable. Um, that goes to the skip challenge. I promised my wife I wouldn't do anything stupid. <laughs> really upset and they show some respect. I can't even think about it. I've been up to read about it. Oh no, Jay, what do you say? Three times? What? Three times? That we were almost dead? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say. <laughs> the beat around it, straight to it, the ring around it. You coming for me, we'll see about it. We'll never see it when I get my feet up. A hundred meters where I run the feet. That I think was surely through the willpower of Heath who created the event out of nothing. Because I don't really need it. I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go one up a check. I got the message on me, ain't no flexing on me, my attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my success has only made them envious, they got upset. I had to put on their egos in check. I had to, I had to put on their egos in check. Because, you know, we, we get this huge amount of rush, this huge atomic bomb that goes off when something happens. Massive amounts of dead fish. Environmental disaster. It seems like there's dead fish nearly everywhere. People are demanding changes. Uh, many are left wondering why it's so bad this year. A Piney Point discharges were at 200 tons of nitrogen in just 10 days. That's like using 80,000 bags. And everybody's on the internet. And everyone's all over the place, you know, pounding the fist about how wrong and how wrong and how wrong this is. But just like everything else in, in, in our society, when the dust settles, everyone goes on their merry way and they forget about that. Pinellas County says crews have collected For years, hundreds of tons you know, of we've seen it and watched it happen and seen the big equipment out on the beach because all the, uh, you know, it's during season and all the beachgoers uh, don't want to rent the homes. Well, they don't want to rent the homes. They don't want to go to the beach. They don't want to go to the restaurants. They don't want to go out into the city. They don't want to spend money. They don't want to come and shop. You know, this is, this is we're, we're, we're a tourism driven state. The whole state is. So these things hurt us. And to be as pristine as it has been in the last couple of years with grouper and snapper and, you know, mangroves and redfish and snook and trout, huge trout. 
you know, in the last couple years, you know, it's just, it's, it's heartbreaking to watch it all go down the tubes for nothing. And nobody to date that I'm, I'm aware of, nobody is held accountable. reveals the cleanup cost is already well north of $40 million. That's nearly $3 million a week. This is caused by red tide, a red tide that could have been prevented. It's, it's devastating. My worst fears have, have come true. Dead fish in the water that will eventually come ashore. Pinellas County leaders have been keeping a close eye on You know, oneself to a group, to a community, to a brand. If we if we just if we just take the domino effect and start the conversation this big. That's time, effort, and energy. If everybody did a little bit of that, just a little bit, we're gonna make we're gonna make a change eventually. And I just think before you act globally. You ought to start acting locally, and then that's the multiplier there. The small communities coming together for one like cause. That's where an organization like Captives for Clean Water comes in for me, all right? I have to put, I, I have to go to work and do what I have to do to make a living, all right? I can't fight the enormous fight that Captains is doing for us as anglers. That's their job, all right? That's why I believe in them. That's why I believe in their path. And I believe in what we're doing as a community by supporting them. That's where I'm going to put my faith. Glad not only I get to compete against you, but I'm glad you're part of my life. So, thank you. Well done, boys. Well done, guys. Everybody needs to understand the water is the essence of the future of Florida. It's a Florida problem. It's not a boater's problem. You know, it, it's not one select group. It is a Florida problem that we have to resolve. We're allowing these industries to come in and do what they do within our state, why are we not holding them accountable? Like he's got something to prove. I don't know who he's got to prove it to unless except himself. We all know he can do it. <laughs> I know he can do anything he puts his mind to. I'm not the smartest guy in the room. Never have been. But I have effort and I have will. I got the want. So the legacy that I want to leave my kids is that, is that you can have anything you want in this world, anything. You just have to go get it.